I have made a lot of free presets for DaVinci Resolve. Some really quick time-saving stuff like my TikTok presets or just in general really cool stuff like Proto. But today I wanna to talk to you about something new, really an update to something um, that I did not make. But <laughs> I think it is the first must have preset, plugin, whatever for DaVinci Resolve. I think everyone that uses DaVinci Resolve should download this right now and use it as often as they want, which will probably be pretty often. Let me show it to you. This video is about Mr. Alex Tech's brand new Magic Animate V2 plugin. It's available now. I've been waiting for this update for a while and I've been eagerly um, anticipating making this video because um, I did get a little bit of a sneak peek and I know how important this plugin is going to be. Check out the video from Mr. Alex Tech. Uh, follow the download link to get to his Kofi page and you will get this DRFX download. Just double click that and it will load you into Resolve. Ask if you want to install it. You can click Install, and then you're good to go. I've got a blank timeline here. I'm gonna drop on the Resolve logo, and then if I navigate over to Effects, Mr. Alex Tech, I have three Magic Animate options. Don't pay attention to this one. This was the preview. Now we've got three. <laughs> I'm gonna drag Magic Animate V2 right onto the logo, and then now if I make sure my inspector is open, in Effects, I have these, these wonderful, wonderful options. Magic Animate leverages the crazy, crazy power of Fusion and specifically the Anim Curves modifier inside Fusion to completely, almost completely, completely, to completely um, remove the need for 99% of the keyframes you'll probably ever set. Inside the edit page or inside Fusion, you don't need them anymore because now you got this. I've got my effect controls open in here. I can uh, move around my image. Uh, these first settings are all your default transform options. Um, so you can do some cool stuff like add a uh, drop shadow, um, which I can always pull in something underneath, something like that. So now you see, yeah, that drop shadow come in move the angle around, tons of options, but underneath these general options, uh, importantly, you have in and out speed, um, which for the animations we are about to set up, that will control the speed there, but we have ooh, all these wonderful, wonderful controls, whip, zoom, spin, dissolve, aspect, mid animation control, it's cool, and background creator. Background creator, uh, sneaky little stuff going on there, that's, that's so useful, all of this is so useful. But you can see, if I just come on to whip, check it in and out, and then if I go to the beginning of my timeline and start scrubbing through, you'll see, hey, that logo just whips on. And at the end, it just whips off. No keyframes, it just does it. You can change this up, change the angle. So now it whips in from the bottom and it whips out kind of towards the bottom, but a little more angle. You can change this up even in the middle of it. Oof, you can, you can add spin on top of it. So it rotates in and then rotates out, and you have individual easing for this as well. And because of the power of what this is built on, you can extend this or shrink this as long as you want, and it will change that all just to fit. So however long you want your image or text or video to be on screen, just make sure that clip is that length, or if you are using this on something like um, an adjustment layer, if you're dealing with like stuff that takes up the full frame, uh, change the length of that. But you've got tons of options here. Let me duplicate this. Reset, um, that was whip. Let's check out zoom, toggle that on, and hey, yeah, it zooms up really nice, really out. That easing, it looks really nice on zoom. Spin, and that just spins. Notice that doesn't go away, but it does spin. But hey, if I go back, toggle that on with zoom, now it's zooming and spinning. Here's the deal. I know I'm in the middle of explaining this, I'm a little jealous, just, just a little bit, because this is so, so cool. I tried to make really cool, really useful stuff. I think I have, I think this takes the cake, which is why I'm making a video all about it. I know a lot of people who watch my channel, watch my videos, probably know Mr. Alex Tech. If for some reason you aren't subscribed to him, those are the people I'm making this video for. <laughs> if you like Resolve, if you use Resolve at all, if you deal with any sort of animation in Resolve, grab this right now and save yourself so much time, so much headache, do more, faster, especially for people who have been slow to dive into the Fusion page and have tried to like keyframe on the edit page. Keyframing on the edit page uh, is a little clunky, but now it's it's a thing of the past. But hey, if I toggle off spin, come to dissolve, toggle that on. Oh, no, 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 I'll keep spin, toggle off zoom. So now that'll zoom with that dissolve. Mm. 
Uh, let's try a dissolve and keep on going down to aspect. Ooh, so now it just stretches out that way. Great. Now, let me show you the mid animation control. Let's bring this on using the uh, spin and zoom. I really like that one. So it'll spin and zoom up. And remember, we always have these uh, like top level controls. So I can always uh, bring this size and even like change the position on screen and it will animate into that point. But if I come down to mid animation control, we have all of these options. We have pulses and shakes and wobbles, waves, really, really cool. If I pull up this pulse a little bit, and you'll see now it has that sort of like hard beat pulse going on. And we have a pulse count. So if you just want to like pulse once, right? Pretty sure this is how it'll work. No, whoop, zoop, zoop. Sound effects not included. You can always make your own. Or shake, pull on that shake angle. Doodle -doo, just got that little jitter. Oh, it's cool. So shake is that angle. Wobble is just this little wobble around. Wobble amount. This this performance is also really good too. Hey, let's uh, pull down the wobble, pull up waviness. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Like, okay, maybe not that much. And yeah, so stretch this as long as you want it to go. Something pops up on screen. This mid animation is so cool for like keeping your attention after you pull up something on screen. This will just, just keep going and then animate back off. Incredible, but that's not all. It's not all. Underneath mid animation control, we have background creator. This, this is pretty cool. Let me zero out this center, pull up, scale, uh, pull up this zoom a little bit. And yeah, let me, I'm gonna keep it, but tone down this wavy little bit. Now, if I come to this background creator, change this edge behavior to a wrap around and pull down zoom, you see we start to tile this effect. And ooh, I don't know how intended this was, but this is really cool. <laughs> Look at this, that, that wavy, like continues through all these copies, amazing. And you can even like crop these left and right if you want them like closer in. That's that's really cool. I've done this sort of effect before, haven't quite done that, but if we come back up to like aspect or something, but if we come back up to like, ooh, picture, yeah, yeah. Change the look of those, even like scale this back up, oh, depending on how much we do that, to just like create a feel of something going on in the background. So easy, all from one image. It's incredible. That was so quick. If that didn't convince you, I don't know what will. I think if you are ever going to open up DaVinci Resolve again, you need to get this plugin right now. Honestly, I think Blackmagic Design should just make this a stock standard effect in Resolve. I think it's that useful, it's powerful. I think it is an amazing sort of lure to get people to invest in the Fusion page, just knowing this was built in the Fusion page. I'm gonna keep recommending this because it is so, so useful. It's incredible. It's amazing. I knew I was gonna have to make a video about it. And now I am. It's cool. I am happy it is out there. I am happy Alex made it. I wish I made it. <laughs>